Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this is kind of like a series I'm gonna try and make. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a tycoon game. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, so what we're gonna do is first, uh, we're gonna need a few things. So you can make a screen GUI. Name this, uh, money, money counter. And add a frame. You can adjust it how you want. Or you can uh, do something else and go to you can go to this website called PhotoP. You can go to this website called PhotoP and you can click new project. And you can just make like anything. Just do a YouTube banner. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a uh, let's see. I'll make a, a rectangle. Now make sure to do the corners. Make the corners rounded out like this. You can also do like boxy kind of, or you can do like these, but I'm just going to do rounded. And then I'm just going to make a, make a rectangle like, like this. And they can kind of round it out how you want. All right. Now you can center it and whatever, or you can like put it up here if you want. Then we're going to do a gradient overlay. We can... I like it. I like blue, so I'm gonna put uh, the color to be blue, and then like a dark blue. I'm gonna just do it like like that. That works. And I'll just change the angle how I want it. I think I think the uh, some like like that is nice. Uh, like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna add a uh, I'm gonna add a stroke. I'll make it, I'll make it five. No, I'll make it like, like, like 15. Nah, tw I'll do tw like 20. That's good. And I'll do a drop shadow. Uh, put the opacity up. Put the spread and the distance. Uh, I mean the spread and size. I'll turn the spread down a little bit. Okay, now I can just angle it. To be like, down there a little bit. Put the size up just a little bit there we go so you can do something like this and then you can just uh delete the background so it's transparent and then you file export as and then you can do a png or jpeg or G, uh, jpg or whatever i like to do png make sure it's there and then you can just name it like uh like uh, money money counter frame or whatever and then click save but i already have mine so i'm just going to use mine and then once you come in studio here you can uh insert an image label instead of a frame and then you can just quickly make sure to use offset scale it fits for all devices and then what you can do is go here okay so i had to uh, update roblox studio so let's try this now um let me do screens ui add a image label this is my um my UI. It looks pretty weird because it's not like sized properly or whatever. But let me just uh the background transparency one. Then I will do offset to scale. Money counter GUI. And then we can name this money counter. There we go. Now we're gonna add uh a text label. Uh we gotta drag this down one because it's up here. Okay. center like that okay now we can just scale this how we how you want to okay now that we got this we can just leave this be for now um we're gonna add a a folder in here named named modules and then in in sound service here too we're gonna add another folder We'll name this sounds. Actually, real quick, since we can, let's just add some sounds. Let's add two, uh, two sounds in here. The one will be called uh, error. Uh, we'll name this. We'll name this error sound. Error sound. And then we'll name this uh, money sound. And then we're gonna have a couple, a couple folders in here. We're gonna name this. Uh, uh, buttons then we'll duplicate it and name it money givers we'll duplicate again and name it tycoon 
Then we'll also add a rig so we know how big we are making our things. There we go. So, yeah, so here, I'm gonna make a, a quick little money giver. You can do this in like Roblox Studio or Blender. Uh, we're gonna name this. This part will be a uh, label, uh, label, label part. And this part will be um, a gift part. And then we'll name, we'll also add a, uh, a um, number value named money to claim. Then we'll use this later. And we can add a uh, billboard GUI. Or no, we can add a service GUI. And we can name this uh, money GUI. Oh, GUI. Then we can add a, a text label. We'll just make this uh, uh, one comma zero, comma one comma zero for size. Then we can name this uh, money lab label. Now that we got all that, uh, we can go ahead and actually anchor this. Now we're gonna work on the, the buttons. Or actually here, first we can, we're gonna add a, a script in here. Not a local script, we're gonna add a script. We can name this uh, money, money to claim script. Yeah. Now we're gonna do um, local money label equals script dot parent. A local money money to claim equals actually here. Let me. Uh, I'll make another one. Local label part equals money. Uh, label part equals a uh, script. Or, uh, money label dot parent dot parent now it should be um label part dot parent dot money to claim there now we'll do a uh, while wait one do uh money to claim dot value plus equals one now do money label dot text equals two string uh money sign dot dot money to claim dot value now if this works yeah it goes up by one now we can now what we can do is uh we're gonna go in blender and make the buttons all right so we're gonna add a cylinder uh make the vertices 10 we can hit s and z and scale this down to about like here that works then we're gonna uh, do shift and D to duplicate it. Then we're gonna hit Z, so we're just, like moving it on the, the Z axis. And then we're gonna go, um, actually, like, let me just move this up a little bit. Do G and Z. Okay, there. Then we're gonna scale this down by doing S. Do it to about, like, right here. That works. And then I'm gonna bevel these, these edges. Now we're gonna do control B to bevel a little bit. We can do this by like three. I don't like that. Let's do it by by just two. Uh, that's that's good. All right, so we're gonna hit A and then hit S and Z and scale this down just a little bit. Then we can hit G and Z and move this down a little bit too. Now we can go on this face and do uh. Control B. Actually, no. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do I to inset like that. And we can hit G and Z and bring it up a little bit. Do that maybe like two or three times. See how it looks. All right, so two times works. Then I'll just uh, bevel this. Do Control B on the face to bevel it. There we go. That looks good. Now let me just um, I click on it, click the tab, and click to and do this. And just kind of shift click these. And then I'll just bevel it 
like this to there. All right, now we can say it smooth. Click on the uh, triangle, and then auto, hit auto smooth. Then you can go here, shade smooth, and do the same thing. Then you can click file, and you can click uh, export, export it as a FBX, and put it on any, put it anywhere you're gonna remember where it is, so like desktop or something. And then once you do that, you can just close out. Uh, you can go to view, and do uh, asset manager. First, let me just save this to Roblox. All right, once you have this up, you can go to uh, the asset manager, and then you can go to mesh meshes. Then you can just find your button, and you can import it here. So then you can just click both of them. Uh, control click, like hold down control and click. And then you have your button. You can see it's kind of like massive though. So uh, click scale, and then hold shift down and just like drag it down. Like that will work. Now I'm gonna just uh, here. I'll anchor these. I'm gonna make this one like a dark gray, and this one be red. And we can control uh, control G these, group them, name this uh, name this test test button for now. Put this in the buttons folder. And there now you got your uh, your button. So now we're gonna add a couple things in, these, in the buttons too. So we're gonna name this uh, button base. Then we'll name this uh, button just so we can kind of stay organized, I guess. No, what, what's, what's what? Uh, then we can add a billboard GY. Name it. And for the always on top, do the Dorney will be the button, and then we can do uh, 30 distance. We can name this. Uh, button info the size we can do be five comma zero comma five comma comma zero and then we can add a text label and we'll name this uh, button button name and then for this we can do a size like one comma zero comma zero point one five comma zero it covers the entire like top part of this then we can uh, make the transparency one. All right, now we can name this just like uh, put the text to test, and then we can just duplicate this and name it uh, price text, and then we can put the position to be um, like zero point two five comma zero comma zero point one five comma zero. Okay, let's try changing the the size. Let's do zero point five comma. 0 comma uh, 0 0.15 comma 0 there now we can name this um like like where we can put the text price will be like 15 and just to see we can make make this not bold there now we're gonna add okay so now real quick we're just gonna make a uh, later stats okay now when we try and um, do this, we need to actually go get the. Uh, we'll enable these two. There we go. We have five. All right, data store is working. Now, real quick, we're gonna make another screen GUI. We'll name this one Air GUI, right? And, then, and we're gonna add just a simple uh, text label. Name this Air uh, Air Air Text. And we'll make. Uh, size one comma zero comma one comma zero like the background transparency one okay that's all we need to do now we can just uh make this enable ignore gui insensitive actually let me do that for both uh ignore gui inset there we go okay now we're gonna make um we're gonna make the uh the little money giver thing work now we can get rid of these two scripts, we don't need them open right now. We're gonna add a script in here, name it uh, money give. Now if we go in here and play, uh, what's gonna happen is we're gonna touch it and then we get the coins that's displayed up here. All right, so now we're gonna open up the RepKit storage again. We're gonna add a module script. 
know, name this number formatter. Uh, I've already made the script before, so I'm not gonna like retype everything out. I'm just gonna copy and paste. Uh, if you haven't watched the video already, make sure to go check it out. The link will be in the description for it. But yeah, now we got that, so then we can just go ahead and uh, do it in here. We'll go and add a local script. There now. Okay, updates. The only thing though is that it doesn't let you um like it doesn't have the money symbol, so I'll figure that out. But yeah, for now it's good enough. Um it'll like abbreviate, so so yeah, it's do like five almost zeros or five mil, so there. Now that works, we can go ahead and work on the buttons. So now we're gonna um we're gonna uh, let's make a part and we can start making like the tycoon part of it. I'm just gonna quickly make like a wall, nothing crazy. Okay, there we go. Now I'll just do that and then union it. And I'll name this uh, wall. Now I'll put this in the tycoon folder. I'm gonna make the transparency one and I'm gonna make can collide off as well. There, so now we have this. Well, let me just anchor it. Let me anchor everything. Now we can go ahead and add a, another script in here. Name it um, Button Manager. Um, in here we're gonna add a a number value again. We're gonna name it uh, Price. And we'll just set it to do 15 for now. Uh, I'll just copy and paste it here because I have the script right here. Just a lot. Uh, you can pause the video if you want, if you need to, or any of this. Uh, price, it's supposed to be price text. There we go, fades away just fine. But if we, um, let's see if we don't have any money. All right, so if we go uh, if we go into the client here, and then we change our money to zero. Now if we go back in the server. I have zero, and it gives me the error. But what I don't want to do, actually, I want to make it so that um, I want to enable enable. I'm gonna keep this enabled. I'm just gonna. Uh, Put visible on false for this. There we go. So now it it uh and it waits a certain amount of time and it should let me do it again. Uh okay wait. So let me just see. Can I maybe this? There we go. Okay. Alright, so what you want to do is just make sure you copy and paste these two. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.